If you haven't checked out my um, grease pencil tutorial part one, I would strongly advise that you do so now. Let's jump straight in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a palette into this uh, 2D canvas grease pencil file. And what we're gonna use this palette for is as a color picker for our material library. Now, when I talk about palette, I'm not talking about anything complicated. All I'm talking about is a simple PNG file that you can create using the 2D package of your choice, whether it be uh, Photoshop, uh, Critter. You create a, a file with a couple of uh, colors on it, or you could actually download a palette, a PNG file from the internet. That is what exactly what I did is I downloaded a palette. So you bring the palette into your scene. Now there's the palette here. Now the first thing you do before you bring the palette in is you make sure you're in object mode. At the moment we're in draw mode. You, I'm not sure what mode you'll be in, but I'm in draw. Make sure you're in object. And now you could drag it in. If you try to drag it in, in draw mode, you can't do it. Okay, let's move forward. As this is an object, you can move it, you can rotate it, you can scale it, yeah? Now you see, it's it, this is a 3D cursor, and this is basically, um, it's like at the pivot point anchor. So now, if I was to rotate it now, this object, I can rotate it just with, um, it's gonna move, uh, rotate around this pivot point. Yeah? You can change the, the settings of your pivot points in this, uh, under this icon here, you see that one there? Yeah? So if we go um, individual origins, that's that, it was now if I rotate, it's gonna rotate around the center of there. The reason why I'm showing you this is because when you start editing um, your lines, etc., this comes in really useful. Understanding uh, the 3D cursor and the pivot points understand, m allows you to have more control over your strokes. So I'm showing you this um, to help you in the future. So we rotate now, you see that? Okay, so now, the reason why I've got a palette in the scene is basically I want to show you guys how to change colors. So if I see this 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 um, icon here is your material um, icon. Obviously, you've got different icons here, but at the moment we're only going to be dealing with this one. This is your material one. Now, if we want to add a color, you click on here, click this picker, and then you've got a color. Yeah, you see that, it changed color. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a couple of materials. I think five would do. Now if we click on that one, Click on there. See what's happening every time I click on it, material is changing color. I think we already clicked that one before. Let's change that. Okay, we'll keep that black. Okay, so now, if I was to draw, this is your palette. Remember this, you, you you never ever click on, you kind of get tempted to click on one of these and think I can draw by clicking on that. No, you can't draw by clicking on that. It's basically, that's just your picker box, yeah? Okay, so that that's that sorted out. So you, it, that's really powerful. The other thing you could do 
is you can actually modify your 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 material now. So if you want to say, for example, you're not totally quite happy with that material color, and you want to refine it, just click on there, and then you can just refine it in this wheel. You see, it's changing. Yeah. You can also change the alpha and the opacity by clicking on here. Hang on a minute. So that's fading in and fading out. So that's pretty cool. Right. So that's the stroke. You can also do a fill. At the moment, the fill, if I was to draw, the reason why you're only drawing the lines is because this fill is set to um, an alpha opacity. So you can drag this color across onto here. And then if I clicked on here and I turned up the alpha, see that it's actually filled it in. So now if I draw, we get filled objects. Yeah. Now your brushes, if you go to object mode, draw, under this icon here, you've got different brushes. Now by clicking on here, you've got your F draw block. I'm going to go through each one of these brushes in, in turn. That's your F draw block. Yeah. And then again, by clicking on these icons here, you can change the color. You got F draw ink. Got F draw marker. F draw noise. I like the F draw noise. It kind of gives you a nice inky feel. Yeah. And then we've got F draw pen. And then we've got the F draw pencil. Now, if you remember in the last tutorial, I went through these icons here, just briefly. Now, if I draw, say for example, I drew with this icon here, the straight line icon, and I clicked on it and created a line. It's just pretty standard, uh, a normal line. It doesn't look anything, it doesn't look like a great inking line, very bland. However, we can change that. Now, if we go to the thickness profile and we just modify this and now we draw with that see what it does there gives it a nice line so this would be really good for your inking and remember in the in the other tutorial what i did if you want to add another line to it just press e and you can add more lines yeah Always remember when you want to get out of it, hit return. Okay, let's rub that out. Let's draw something else. Let's do it with this one. And maybe a different colour this time. Let's see that that blue is your control point if you remember. So Again, if we played with this, the thickness profile, we can change it again. I have to create a new one. So if we just moved it around. So just play with it. Have a play with it. And then you can get nice feet, you know, nice effects. Just a matter of trial and error, just playing with it. So we just change the weight now. Let's try one more. I think this this one here you're going to be using a lot. This tool here, I think this one's the most powerful for pinking, um, inking, because you can you can move. You've got two con two anchor control points. So my suggestion is when you start doing your inking, is you use this one more. You probably use this one more, and I think it will give you better results. Okay, let's talk about um, editing a stroke. If we Draw a stroke, and then we need to go go to draw, and then we go to edit mode. We've got a couple of icons here. So you see this icon here. This icon 
is to edit an indiv individual vertex. Now, vertex, if you don't know what it is, is all 3D objects are made of a vertex. So basically a point, and then a line, and then another point. That's a vertex. Basically, what a grease pencil object is, is an actual 3D object. So they're all made up of these points, yeah? Now, you can modify the whole stroke by just click, clicking on there, and then the whole stroke is uh, selected. And again, we can move it, rotate it, scale it, and there's another thing we can do. We go back to draw mode. If I create a square. I move the 3D cursor here. And then see this icon here? This is a bend modifier. So if we select the stroke and then we click on the bend modifier, watch what happens now. The whole thing will bend so back and forward. Pretty cool, huh? You can create kind of like a wavy effect as well. You know, you could use this for maybe an arm movement or something in your animations. So that's pretty cool. The other thing we can do is add a, uh, a share. This is just share modifier. So that'll just share it. So that's just uh, some of the things you can do here. Okay, let's uh, just go through the sculpting tools. We'll go through a few of the sculpting tools. So if I just draw here, a line, and then I go draw, sculpt mode. I mean, we're gonna go through a couple of these, not gonna go through all of them, but we'll go through a couple of them. So this one here, we will relax your object. So if I, let's decrease the radius a bit. If we click on it, see that? It just relaxes it, yeah? Now this tool is pretty powerful as well. This is increases the, the thickness of your line. So if I click on the plus icon, see what it's doing there? It's increasing the thickness of it, yeah? You can also decrease it by clicking on uh, the minus icon here. It's pretty powerful. And then you've got your noise. Um, this is another powerful one which I, I, I use. Uh, this gives you, if you want to make, say for example, you wanted to make a, a jagged line, you're making a lightning effect, I'd use this, probably use this tool. Yeah, let's increase the radius a bit. So yeah, it makes it all um, sharp. Yeah, let's go back and I'll, I'll do, I'll, let me draw another line. Let me go back to it. I should show it a little bit better, I think. Let's increase the strength. See what it does there? So that's really nice. If you want to create a nice jaggy kind of lightning effect or a laser effect, yeah? And then you got your um, your grab, and then you got your pull. Now the other thing you could do, um, this hair is a cloning. I, I just it's a simple clo cloner an object. All you do is you go object mode, or edit mode. And just hit Shift and D, Shift and D, and you can duplicate a, a stroke. Yeah, Shift D, duplicate a stroke. Okay, if you like the tutorial, um, hit that thumbs up um, button, hit subscribe, click on the notification bell for upcoming tutorials. Right, I'm out of here, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and keep your eye out for new um, tutorials that I'll be uploading every week. Bye.